My brothers and sisters, today I have a message for you from the Lord. The Lord is saying unto you, return to me and I will return to you. But before we start, we are going to light up a candle. Hallelujah. We are going to blow the shofar and ring the bell so we may advance before the throne. We are going to ask God to bless his message, to bless those who subscribe and will subscribe to his channel, to bless those that will share the message and to give the Holy Spirit to those who will leave comment and uh, for those who will watch the video. And without delay, we are going to the scripture and uh, today we are going to Zechariah chapter 1 verse 1 to 6. So <clears throat> let's read it together as we are approaching the end of the eight months. The focus of the eight months and you know the eight months in the calendar of God is the month of bull. This is the focus. Listen to this. Verse 1. In the eighth month of the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came to the prophet Zechariah. So Zechariah was a real person and he was living during the time of Darius. And we even know his father. His father was Berechiah and, and his father was a the father of Berechiah or his, his grandfather, the grandfather of Zechariah was Ido. So verse 2, the Lord was very angry with your ancestors. This is the word that came out of the mouth of Zechariah. Zechariah said, guess what? During the time of your ancestors, the Lord was mad. And, and to give them a picture of what they are doing right now. During the time of Zechariah. But the Lord said, in the Edmo, this is the time to attend and to pay attention to return to him. And what we see... After we enjoy the seventh month, few days later in the eighth month, people fall into sins once again. And the Lord said, you know, I don't want to do what I did to your ancestors. Cause them to be enslaved, cause them to be persecuted, to be invaded, you know, to be destroyed by their enemies. Return to me. So the message for the eight month, throughout the eight month, although the eight month, this is the month when God is calling you to be like him, he is saying unto you, return if you have fallen into sin. Return to me. We are in verse 3. Declares the Lord Almighty, and I will return to you. If you return to me, I will return to you. Let's go to verse 4. And he said, once again, do not be like your ancestors. Don't be like your grandparents, your wicked grandparents. Don't be like them. To whom the earlier prophets proclaim. Before I say anything here. It's like Zechariah is telling them, I'm proclaiming something to you to return to God. And I'm seeing you. I'm seeing that you have become like your ancestors. And I am a prophet. To whom the earlier prophets proclaim. And listen to what the earlier uh, prophets proclaim. Turn from your evil ways. And your evil practices. What we see in the Edmonds, especially as we are about to close the, the eight months, 
People fall into idolatry. We see the evidence of the Jeroboam disrespect. People start worshiping idols. At the time of Jeroboam, you know, he turned around and built a golden calf. And we know how mad God was when he was in the mountain with Moses. And, and when he, he said to the Moses, go down, go down, go down. These people, they are wicked. They have fallen into idolatry. And Moses found them worshipping the golden calves. The golden calf. And now we see Jeroboam. In the time of Jeroboam, he, be, he practically uh, shape up, you know, in gold, golden calves. Not one. At that time, they did one. God was mad. But Jeroboam did many. And what we see we see this evil in practically you live in the usa you you, you we are you see them you know celebrating halloween and they have so uh, some dress you know uh, costumes they put on they they are very evil and this is terrible and even in haiti in my country they have that the practice of gede and some of you, you don't know what that is. This is when they ovink, e, invoke a e, e, e false spirit, the spirits of the dead. And we see that in Halloween here in the USA, e, the spirit of the dead. This is when they go to haunted house to make connection e, with the with dead people. They're practically spending good money. And uh, we have the, the shops saying, you know, this is a good time for them before Thanksgiving. And they can make some money uh, in costume and things, uh, uh, things that they are buying to celebrate the dead. So God is saying unto you, you have ascribed uh, to these things. And uh, even uh, this week, yes, your children in devilish costumes and the lord said you know turn from your evil ways and your evil practices this is an evil practice evil practices oh we see them you know they have parties they they do all type of things you know and in the time of their ancestors when we continue with the reading, but they would not listen. When you say to people, you know, Halloween, uh, you know, God is not too comfortable with that, you know, this, they do not listen. Ah, this is for the kids, you know, so, you know, they love it. They go out there getting candies and, and dressing up and this is for the kids, but they would not listen. In the time <coughs> of Zechariah, they would not listen. In the time of Moses, they would not listen. You know, Moses found them dancing, worshipping the golden calf, saying, Oh, golden calf, you the one who took us out of Egypt. So, evil practices and evil ways will cause you to stay in Egypt. Because you will have a curse on you let's continue and you will see what i'm talking about verse 5 where are your ancestors now you know god said ask them zechariah for me where are your ancestors now and what we would say they're all dead and the prophets do they live forever my God, my God. This is saying to you, think about your future with God. Think about, you know, heaven. Listen to the comments of your God. You know, this is in a nutshell what Zechariah is saying to them. Where are the prophets? Where are your ancestors? Do you want to pass? Do you want to die like your ancestors? This is what Zechariah is saying. Do you want to die in, in condemnation? And in verse 6, you will hear 
the exact thing what happened to them but they did not they did not obey God's word his decree which I commanded my servant the prophets and he said and and he said and things that he predicted over overtake their ancestors but did not my words and my decree which I commanded my servant the prophet overtake your ancestors and what we see after after Moses you know we see they ended up being practically a, a invaded by other nation and totally being ruined and but at the time of Zechariah when Zechariah preached that and I and, and today I will tell you to do the same then they repeated in the time of Zechariah they repeated amen let's go to verse uh, 6 at the beginning of verse 6 but uh, he said then they repented Zechariah said as I was talking to him to them you know they take account and they repented today what I want you to do is to repent and they repented and they said the Lord Almighty has done to us what our ways and practices deserve just as he determined yes they said look at us now we are under occupation is because of our ways is because of our practices when you start disobeying God you do not respect you know the statutes of God you know you find yourself under God whatever that other God is I don't have to speculate your sin you know what what you're doing that is contrary to the Ten Commandments that is contrary to the will of the Lord guess what you will get like the people in the time of Zechariah said they will get what their ways their practices deserve that's mean condemnation that's mean curses you will fall into curse amen and amen and you will see your blessing in the hand of somebody else probably in the hand of your enemies you do not want that for yourself so my message for you today is pretty short is saying unto you the lord is saying unto you to return to him to repent not to get involved in in idolatry in evil practices and in evil ways some of you you are so keen in doing evil your mind are totally corrupted filthy before your god and the lord is practically mad so as we are approaching the end of the month of bull amen and amen the lord wants you to repent and to be aware remember what i said to you last week i said from the beginning of november until november 13 there will be a lot of spiritual evil spiritual manifestation all over the world and this false spirit they're looking for hosts they're looking to enter people's bodies be careful who you are associated yourself with and what you are listening in the course of your action and the lord said that can cause you to forfeit his blessing and to enter curses and i said and I say curses. That means various type of affectations can enter you. Could be sickness and disease. 
could be, you know, lack, could be poverty, could be misease. I know when they say this is, this is, is enter your body. Or, you know, problem of the minds. You know, because God already says, said it to us. The salary of sin is death. You are like a person, you know, you already dig your grave and you are in the process of putting dirt upon yourself. Because the devil has nothing to offer you but dirt. To kill you, to put shame on you. So now, do you want to get the same sentence than your ancestors? Or do you want to return? And the Lord is at the door, calling you to return to him. And he said, return to me, and I will return to you. And what is saying unto you? He said, you are not blessed now. Come to me. Return to me, and I will bless you. The Lord said, if you do so, you know, he will redeem you by the blood of his son, and you shall be saved and protected in this season. Remember, I'm saying unto you, the year coming is the year of blood, and we see the devil is already out there killing and stealing and destroying because this is his goal. Kill, steal, and destroy. You do not want that, that for yourself. Repent and be blessed. I say these things in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>